Magandang umaga po. Welcome to our morning devotional here at Manila Baptist Church. And to start with, I'd like to greet you all a happy new year. I trust that uh, all of us are doing well because God had been so good to all of us. He's been keeping us under, under His grace and mercy. Join me first as we will open in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this morning devotional we have. May we have an open heart and mind and be with your blessings, Lord, that we might come to listen, to understand, and to apply the word that we will be hearing and listening, Lord God. Bless this time now, Father, in Christ's name. Amen. Wishing you all a happy new year. And uh, our devotional is taken from the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Let me read to you the passage. Let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the scene that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. Our devotional is entitled, Exist Baggage. Exist Baggage. Well, when we travel, we sometimes would drag a lot of stuff with us. Sometimes we cannot do it traveling light or carrying a uh, few stuff along the way. And uh, even amongst us who have been uh, traveling always. And uh, sometimes we overpack our luggages. And you would think that uh, in this day and age that uh, we would have learned uh, traveling light, but still we want to drag along almost everything we own. And sometimes we go an excess baggage that makes our travel more hassled, uh, complicated, and sometimes expensive because we have to pay for the excess baggage. And in the same way, when we are running the race of life, we need to travel light. Sometimes we jog along a lot of exist weight. Notice that the author of Hebrews tells us to strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily chips us up. Sin is a sin and will always trip us up and cause us to fall. But there might also be other weights in our lives, weights that aren't necessarily sins, but nevertheless trouble us, slow us down, and impede our spiritual progress. Periodically, we need to take stock of our lives as a Christian and look at the things we are doing with our time. Maybe we need to ask ourselves this question, is it a wing or a weight? Is it speeding me on my way spiritually? Or is it slowing me down? Is it increasing my spiritual appetite? Or is it dulling it? Looking back of last year, what are practices? What are habits that we had been doing that slowed us down in our spiritual walk with God? Let us not carry them this time let us leave them behind and looking forward let us run the race towards the finish line towards the goal how often we are so busy doing a lot of things that are not really all that that important but they seem important at the, at the time do we need to ask ourselves if we need to do all of those things? Are they slowing us down? Are they keeping us from running the race God has given us? So in order for us to run with speed, with stamina, with vigor, with strength for this 2022, the, the race, the Christian living, let, let us lay aside the weight and the sin that will hinder our progress. Like the Apostle Paul when he made his goal to finish the course, to run the race with endurance, with patience. Again, another year God had blessed us with 2022. We do not know what lies ahead, what is in this new year. 
should we say. But let us live and run this life, this race, trusting God, dependent of His grace and mercy, His working and blessing. Let us leave behind those things that troubles us and looking forward the goal and the prize set before us in Christ Jesus. Good morning to all and God bless you.